Hey again, let's be talking in this video about array list. Array list is a special case of ROM array. So let me just open and create a new file and name it array list demo. So what's the difference between array list and array? Array list, it is array, but one difference between array list and array. In array list, you don't need to define the size of your array. What I mean by that and why? Because array list use dynamic array. So for example, array list start with one location. When you add one element, okay, you are in the size. When you add second element, you are outside the size. What, what array list will do, because use dynamic array, it will duplicate array size and it will add your element here. Now, if you add another element, you are now out of the size. What it will do? It will duplicate the size of the array. It will go from two to four and it will add your element here. You add another element, you are good. Now you add another element, you are outside the of over the size. It will duplicate the size from two, four to eight. Now you have one, two, three, four. Four, four location on your element here and these are empty. So think about you have 2000, for example, just for example, two, you just, you have 1000, one element, and the dynamic array create for you 2000 location. Do you know how many elements you have? How many location in the memory you don't use it? 999. So because this is how it's built. So I would never recommend using array list unless you just want to use it. But this is how the internal data structure. You know, you're saying why I discussed it in the video of I don't, you don't have to use it. I discussed it to tell you how the data structure for array list. So you don't use it. You avoid it unless you just want to use it for some specific reasons. So to do array list example, I will copy the code I have in the array demo. Because I just already, I just go to the array demo and I copy that code, put it here. Now we said one thing different between array list and array, I don't need to define the size. The size is not needed. So all what I need to do, I say list of pits equal array list. Okay. And bam. Just open a bracket, close it. I'm good. But now I don't need to define the index for for my array list. I just could say dot add because I don't know what the index, I just adding it. It's better to say dot add because you may not know the real index. So you just add them. When you complete, you just read them. Now you know the index, I think here, so there is no issue with the index here. But you will not use max size because max size may make a problem for you. What I mean by that? I mean, max size, you may define like 10 elements, but you put only three. So it's better to use the array list size. You say list of pet dot size. Make sure you be in the range of your array list. Then now if I just try to debug it to see what's going on. So I will see like whatever you enter, you'll be fine. It will increase the size of the array for you without uh, without letting you care about the size of how many how many pets you enter it don't you don't care it will just increase the size for you but now we just want to need like make it nicer the code just seconds i will make it nicer let me make it run first let me assume i define the size for you first how many limit i would expect to enter i would expect to enter three and now he asked me about it, it just it will create a new list you see now i just have a list of pets it doesn't define the size size is zero if I now enter, ask me to enter the first one, I will name it doc. Okay. If I just go down, it will create size of one. Yeah, because one element. Now if I just enter the second one, I think, I will enter a cat. Now if I just see the bag, I have two, that's fine. If I enter the third one, I will say cat uh, fish. And I would assume it will duplicate the size for me. It did show you three, but it definitely should internally it should have a four because it should duplicate the size. So yeah, it's just like very nice way. And yep, we don't need to define the size. Now if you print them, print one using array, zero, pit, cat, whatever. There is a different way to print it. The, the more safe way is instead using use, using index. The most uh, use, safe way is using object. What I mean by that, using object, it is same that one, but you say, you have a list of pits. You say, I have I need any pits in the list of the pits. 
and I just please print it to me. Okay. Well, a nicer way, and I would think, and saver. Like you don't need to care about now the size, and you go outside the out of the size, and you just say hey, any pit in this list of the pit just print it, and you should be fine. Now one more thing: why I have to define the size because it is array list, and I'm no I no longer need to define the size for it. So it's better to use what use do while. See that? So on the do while. I would I would convert this code to use do while how I say hey do and the do I read enter the pit name or null or exit to quit okay so now he will enter the pit name I will get the pit name I would name it val pit name okay and I will the pit name should be equal whatever the user input I am reading and I put it to the list I will quit when I will quit when the pit name is I mean when while the pit name equal equal quit because I say hey if someone enter a quit just a quit but sometime we will have a quit as a options and I mean in this case I need to say hey I will add the pit only if it's not a quit. If pit name dot a call a quit, don't put it. Otherwise, you should put this one. So, what a call you could say is this a call, or you could use a call a call. It's not a call this way. It's just more clean way of writing the code. So now I don't care. I don't need the size anymore. All what I need is just I define list of the pits. He could enter pits as much as he could, and I add them. When he enter quit, I will exit the do while. And bam, I should be all set. See, in this case, you have to use do while. Now, if I just run the app again, see how my app work. It just ask me for enter the pit name or quit, and I could input pits as much as I could, and no one tell me why. And whether there's anything you or so you see now the code be more flexible enter pit name I say I have a dog I have a, well bum bum he say he say pit name he just quit because I tell him it's not a call or quit just ah I say if it's not a call or quit continue sorry if it's a call or quit I should not continue so this is a good learning experience, like you see why, why I just quit in one time. So I would say enter a quit name, I say I have a dog, I have a cat, I have a fish, whatever, whatever, whatever like uh, bits you have, you just list them, who care? The application will accept, I say ra bit, I say whatever, I say uh, fee, rich, See how, how flexible the application? It will never stop unless I type a quit. It will exit and show me everything. See, it's showing me, hey, you have this list of pits that you enter. You enter dog, cat, fish, rabbit, fur. That's right. And that's what I want. I want my code to be flexible enough, don't ask for size, and could do whatever. Also, I, you could search in the list. You say, hey, for example, if I enter, if there is in the list, if the list contain, uh, for example, cat, I will be qualified for something. You say it, uh, print line, I say your cat qualified for special care. Okay, special care, whatever. Always, 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 there's a grammar mistakes. So let me just correct like this one. <laughs> okay, qualified. Okay, so now in this case, if I just run the app, if I enter a cat, but make sure I enter the small letter, otherwise it will not accept it. Or you say, you should you should either search for cat capital with cat with a small, or you convert everything to small letter, whatever. So I say cat, dog, and I want to exit, enough. You tell me. Ah, quit, I think, not exit. So exit, exit now, exit now, consider as a bit. <laughs> so you see, your cat qualified for special care. 
because the list contains so I could search in the list so yes that's all what I want to share with you in this video hopefully everything good and uh, thank you for watching and see you next